reading. So I just kind of want to break it down to you based on my experience having a genetically confirmed episodic ataxia type 2. Um, so is it progressive? For me personally, um, the name episodic, you know, it got its name because of the reoccurring episodes the individual may experience, um, such as ataxia, poor coordination, poor balance, um, and vertigo, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, in some cases seizures. Okay, these are episodic events that take place with having episodic ataxia, um, randomly losing muscle muscle control in your arms. And yes, I have uh, genetically confi confirmed um, episodic ataxia type 2. Yeah. I was living with it since I was a child, um, and in 2009, I was suspected I may have it, and I was just recently genetic. Hi, hi, hi. I'm sorry. Um, and also found on on all their MRIs. So, um, my last one was in 2017, and it's 2021 now. So. I haven't had a more recent one done, but this was as of 2017. And I wanted to show you close up as to um, my MRI showing the cerebellum, which is right here.